Hey guys, it's Davey here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video I'll be doing a review on the hybrid stopwatch and timer app available from the Google Play Store. So having the Galaxy Nexus, there was no preloaded timer and stopwatch on my phone, so I actually went to the market, downloaded a bunch of them, and uh, decided which one I liked best. Obviously since I'm doing this review, this is the one that I like best. So uh, with that said, I'll go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that I really love about this stopwatch is the fact that it combines functionality with uh, great looks. I found a lot of apps out there that had good functionality but this looked horrible and I found apps that looked pretty good but didn't have the functionality I needed. This one combines both of those things and I'll show you just how. So for example right now I'm on a timer or timer mode and uh, it's set to one minute. Now I hit start and you can see this little animation of the second hand uh, going counterclockwise just like you would with the you know handheld stopwatch uh, an old school one. Now I could stop it of course and uh, start it again by hitting this middle button. Of course, you have the digital readout right at the top, and uh, you can't really tell right here because uh, it's only at one minute, but there's also a minute hand. So I'll go ahead and set it to like six minutes, and you can see the little minute hand right here uh, moved along. So as you're winding down uh, in time, this will move as well. Now I'll go ahead and show you what happens when the time runs out. So I'll set the timer for about five seconds, hit start, Go to my home screen, you can see it shows up in the notification bar so you know a timer is active and uh, we'll just wait for it to complete and you can see that little uh, pop-up notification. So that's a really cool feature, um, you know, you'll never really lose track of your timer. Now let's look at the stopwatch really quick. So the stopwatch works in the same way, of course the second hand goes clockwise instead of counterclockwise and uh, of course you could stop it and start it again. If you want to do a lap, you can press lap right here. And what's cool when you press lap is the last lap that you pressed shows up uh, on the analog display as well. And of course, if you go to lap list, you have your uh, recorded laps. So if I do a whole bunch of laps right here, they'll show up right here in this list. And if I want to reset it and uh, clear out the lap list, just hit reset and everything's gone. So it says lap list is empty. Um, what I really like about the timer is the ability to use the volume up and down uh, buttons so it really feels like a normal timer uh, to control it. So I'll press volume up, it starts the timer and I can press volume up again to pause it, press it again to start it and then I can press volume down to uh, reset it. So if I press down, or I'm sorry, volume down uh, records a lap. While you're, so while you're, while the timer is going, if I press volume down, it records a lap right there. And then if I press volume up, it pauses it. If I press volume down again, it restart, it resets it like it did right there. So pretty cool functionality with the volume uh, controls. Of course, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. I'll go ahead and go into the settings real quick to show you what it looks like. Of course, when you press the menu button, you have your lap list. Uh, your, you could send the laps and uh, you could go to the timer mode, of course. Um, you also have the ability to go to preferences. So I'll just show you what kind of options you have really quick. You could keep the screen on if you want, uh, keep the sound on so uh, it plays a uh, sound loop on the timer finish. So if you don't want that annoying sound, you can just turn it off. Of course, you could choose what ringtone you want to use for that. And uh, you could also select how long you want the alarm to uh, go on. So I have it for five seconds, which is something I actually want. Some timers out there will literally keep beeping until you uh, hit dis dismiss. So I really like this feature because it's not too annoying. And of course, uh, you could also decide whether or not you want vibrate feedback, use volume up and down, and you can even change the color. So I'll go to uh, green and hit back, and you can see the whole theme of the app change. So definitely a, a really good app. Um, if you're looking for a good uh, stopwatch and timer, I'd recommend this one. Uh, the free version is supported by advertisements. I actually bought it to buy it. You just hit remove ads. It takes you through a little payment gateway. I think it costs a dollar or two and uh, you buy it and you have an uh, ad-free version. All right, that's it for me in this review. This is Dave from PhoneBuff.com. Thanks for watching it, and don't forget to visit PhoneBuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.